All right, guys, this is Build That Bot. So I've got John Hoagland here from Top Steps Trader. Uh, he's going to come up with a strategy. We're going to work through it and see if it can be automated. Um, it might not be exactly what John would normally do, but it'll be very close. And what we're going to do at the end of it is I'm going to go off and build the spot. I'm going to build the bot and see what it does in the markets and uh, through some back testing. And you guys are going to get to see those results later on. So, John. What have we got for the, the viewers to sink their teeth into today with, with this strategy? I know we've sort of had a quick chat. You've got some ideas. So, so let's um, maybe start from the beginning. All right. Um, Cam, I'm very excited about this. Uh, I've never had anybody try and quantify a strategy that, I, that I've you know, looked at. Or, uh, so I'm, I'm really happy to, 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 to give this a try. And if it works, I want it. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll work out what we do with it if it works, <laughs> or if it doesn't work. All right. Well, yeah, we'll have to see, right? Okay. So yeah. Um. So we're looking for a reversion um, trade when the market opens significantly outside the the previous regular trading hour range, right? So here we are back to settlement. Here's the high of yesterday's regular trading hour range. This is the S&P 500s on a 30 minute chart. So what we're talking about doing and one of the things that I do look for in, in reversals in trades is, I'm just gonna make this really big, is are these whole moving averages? Okay, the red is a nine session whole moving average. The blue is a 13 session whole moving average. So you can see in the in the in the overnight session here, this is the 830 bar. This is the regular trading hour open. So we can see in the overnight session, this is the close from yesterday. We can see that the market has moved rel relatively steadily higher over over time. So if we're going to be looking for a, a move in the opposite direction, one of the things that I'm going to be looking for is you can see that the whole moving average is the nine session trades pretty, you know, stays pretty, pretty solidly above the 13 session. This is the 830 bar. We don't get continuation of the upside. And when this nine session crosses the 13 session, that can be a symbol where I'm going to start to look for opportunities to sell strength. So, um, in this particular case, it would have worked nicely. Uh, because we also have VWAP on this on this this uh, this chart here. When this crossed over, this bar traded actually right to the second standard deviation of VWAP, which may be something we can also look at, Cam, if we're going to build this bot. Um, yeah. So you know, with the move to the upside, with the crossover of the nine session and the thirteen session and a move back to uh, a, a possible strength to sell in the, the second standard deviation of VWAP, it looks like it offered a pretty decent situation, or at least a pretty decent uh, opportunity to the downside here. So could it be a possibility that, so you're going from VWAP to VWAP? Yes, from second standard deviation to second standard deviation. Because it walked okay. right through VWAP. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. So yeah, yep. Yeah, cool. Okay. So so um. All right. So that that sounds like a pretty solid strategy there. So the the regular trading hour range. What hours would they you consider those to be? So the the regular trading hour range is from eight thirty Central Time to basically three fifteen Central Time. Um, the the uh, three o'clock bar ends at three fifteen, and you can see where settlement is very close to that. Okay. So cool. we we determined that the range from yesterday was about one hundred and fourteen full points, one hundred and fifteen full points, right? Yeah. So we need yeah. the market to to basically open in either direction more than fifty percent farther away than than half so we needed to we needed to open 60 points outside of the previous day's range maybe a little bit rare but depending on the volume and of course everything can be readjusted right
Guys, just jumping in here quickly. Now, if you're wondering how on earth does Cam build these things, this is how I do it. I use a tool called FX Dreamer. See, it's pretty simple. You drag and drop things around the screen, you double click on them, open them up, change a few things. This took me about 15, 20 minutes to build half of John's system that he just described. Now, if you're looking to learn to these skills as well, and it's, once you know them, it's incredible the things you can do. Just test strategy so quickly. This is the course. It's, this is some of the, This is basically the whole course outlined here. I teach you how to do exactly this: build trading robots. It's a very thorough course. <laughs> Look, it keeps going. There's a bunch of bonuses in the end uh, at the end as well. So, guys, if you do want to learn how to do this stuff, then head over there, tradingnut.com. There's links underneath this video, and I'm putting in a promo code as well. So, if you use that, you're going to save yourself a bit of cash as well. All right, folks, um, let's get on with the end. Yeah, exactly. We can we can play with those, and I mean if if um yeah let's just just yeah we'll we'll play with those. So we can make you know 50, 30, 100 percent. Let's just see, or it could even be one hundred and fifty percent. I'll make that a variable, and just chuck in a few variations and see what what it see if one of them works better than the other. So once it's once it opens, so then we're looking for obviously the the HMA HMA uh, the whole moving average nine to be above thirteen, and then we're waiting for the cross of that. Nine and the thirteen. Right. Price to pull back into the second standard deviation of um, the the VWAP, mm -hmm. and then exit being the other standard deviation of the VWAP, or what you could potentially exit partial part of the position at the first VWAP. VWAP. I'm guessing, or yeah, okay. So potential there to, to do a partial exit and uh, and carry on to the to the final. Okay. Yeah, sounds simple. I think that's, I think that sounds pretty good. Um, will it work? Who knows? We're going to find yeah. out, and we're going to see how often it works. And it, you know, if it, if there are other things we can we can build into it, we'll, maybe we'll get you back on here in the future. But thank you very much, John. I think that's that sounds like a fantastic little strategy we can sink our teeth into here over at Trading Nut and um, get that automated up. And then either you're going to see this in this video, I haven't worked it out yet, or potentially another video where we're going to walk through the results and see what it looks like. Yeah, it doesn't seem that complicated. It's not like all the stars have to align and and uh, there has to be an eclipse on that day, something like that, right? Nah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I love it. Okay, brilliant. Well, look, John, um, once again, do you want to let the guys know a little bit about Top Step Trader, um, how they can get involved? And because um, I know that you guys have been a great support to the show over the past year or so. So, yeah, please do let, let people know. Absolutely. Top Step Trader is a, uh, an opportunity for traders anywhere uh, to be able to prove their strategies in a safe env environment and, and earn funding for those strategies. TopStepTrader.com. Uh, check out the trading combine. There's four different uh, the there's four different uh, account sizes. We also have Top Step FX for you uh, forex traders. Get in, trade on a on a simulated account, a real time simulated account. Prove to yourself you can do this. We'll back you. Uh, looking forward to your success. Just a kind of a brief overview of it right there. Uh, lots more to it. Call us. Check out the website ask us questions we are there yeah look guys there's i'll put links under the under the video also a link to uh, john's full interview on the podcast which is which we recorded uh, he was episode number three so it was a long time ago um fantastic stuff in there there's also another video that you can check out where john walks through how he actually sees and trades uh, the market so guys recommend checking that out as well all right john thank you very much um have a great day thanks Ken. great to have you on here for build that bot now it's over to me all right Take care.